Now to Michigan, where the father of a school shooter goes on trial today, just weeks after his wife was convicted. The first time in the U.S. a parent was held criminally responsible for a school shooting carried out by their child. Here's ABC's Lionel Moyes. Trial of James Crumbly gets underway. His son, Ethan, killed four of his classmates at their high school in Oxford, Michigan in 2021. James is charged with involuntary manslaughter, accused of making a gun accessible and ignoring his son's pleas for help addressing his mental health. His wife, Jennifer, was convicted on the same charges last month. I would really like to see what he has to say in this matter. Nicole Bosley's daughter was killed in the shooting. She says she doesn't understand why Ethan's parents didn't do more to intervene in their son's life. The stuff that he was doing and saying and writing and showing and watching is not just a kid going through a hard time. During her trial, Jennifer Crumbly testified that James was the one in charge of the gun used by Ethan to carry out the attack. I just didn't feel comfortable being in charge of that. It was more his thing. A former prosecutor says James Crumbly's lawyers will need to overcome many challenges, including that testimony from Crumbly's wife. The dad was the one that bought the gun. He was a gun owner. He knew how to safely store guns, and yet he didn't. Lockbox was still in the factory settings, and uh, the cable lock wasn't used. Lionel Moyes, ABC News, New York. A student injured in the shooting is expected to testify at James Crumbly's trial. As for his wife, she'll be sentenced next month, facing up to 15 years in prison. Their son already sentenced to life in prison.